Yes, yes, welcome to another video. I'm Lewis. Above me, John, and we got the review of February and Madness. I can't believe we won every single game. I actually think in our January review, um, I'm pretty sure it was like, there's no chance we're going to go through this whole month and win every single game. Like, not in like a negative way, just sort of like, look at the games we had to play. Like, there's no chance we're going to win every single game. And, well, we, there was a chance and um, we did it. We did it. I can't believe it. It's madness. It is um, weird. It is, it is weird to say that we're here. And as well in that review, bro, of... Mm. We did a preview as well called Make or Break, that this could make or break our season. That's true. And we've won every single game. And I think in the review, we said, it might have been the, the Make or Break one as well, mm. that if we went through this whole month unbeaten, that we'd end up with a league. Yeah, no, absolutely. And, um, you know, it's uh, we've just come off the back of our tier three live watch along of the Chelsea United game. Um, every so often we watch uh, other games that are sort of important to our season or just we want to watch with our tier three members. If you want to get involved with that, by the way, link in the description. These are the members um, here. Um, and obviously, you know, Leicester lost, um, United drew. Great, great weekend for us um, to top off February. So let, let's go for it. Before we do, guys, let's set a light tiger. Let's go for a thousand. So smash your thumbs up on the video if you do enjoy it. It helps other City fans find the channel. Channel. Um, subscribe to the channel if you're new and like I say if you do want to get involved with the extra club the link is in the description um, right so we started off with an away day at Burnley 2-0 um, Gabby Jesus scoring early on and Sterling getting the second in the first half don't really remember too much about the game however typically you know Burnley is a place that we would expect to win however it can be tricky from remembering the game, obviously, we got the very, very early goal, which probably would have settled, on, settled our nerves. We get the 2-0 win and um, kicks us off good into the Liverpool game, Bruce. I don't yeah. know if you want to talk about this Liverpool match. Yeah, boy. Because well, obviously it was popping. Yeah, I think on the Burnley thing as well, I think the whole situation with having no fans affected that massively. I think that always affects like all of these games. And uh, that is one of the excuses mm. which led, do you know what I mean, Liverpool to their, their results. So obviously this is a mad game. I mean, hard for anyone to forget in it. Um, the 4-1. The uh, this was next level. This because this was the this is the one that we all kind of wrote off. We yeah, all kind of yeah. no one was really that confident going into this game. Was all saying, you know, what I mean, this could be the one where we do drop points, um, and we actually ended up smashing it. Phil Foden scored that will do. You know what I mean, we had the whole mm. Allison pretty much gifting the ball to us. Yeah, uh, yeah, but it was a mad game. It was a mad game. Uh, we conceded we actually conceded a goal there, which was mad, wasn't it? Uh, yeah, pe well, it was a dodgy pen. Wasn't dodgy it, pen. When it when Salah got uh, he got shot. Yeah, and it went down like there was no. I mean, like. Like, it went down so heavy on that. It was next mm. level. The pictures came out of it after it was and it was meant uh, memes for days. But that, that set us off nicely, that. And I think that put a confidence in not only the team, but the fans going yeah, to the next couple of games. Exactly. You know what I mean? And it, you got to remember as well, guys, at the beginning of January, we was only four points ahead of Liverpool. So, you know, going into February, we had extended it a little bit. But Liverpool, you know, that was that was a game where if Liverpool won, they would have been right back in it, proper yeah. in it. You know what I mean? So that was a massive, massive day. Ended the curse. First time since 2003. I think you're right, bro. I think the fans started to get a little bit giddy. That that took us into the FA Cup game against Swansea away. Um, you know, it was, it was a slow start to the game and the goal was quite fortunate from Kyle Walk, it was the shot slash cross it, <laughs> that it was defo that wasn't a shot yeah it was defo across um, but but yeah we went 3-0 up there and um, they did get a consolation in the end um, from Whitaker. I actually remember that goal it was a really good finish from uh, from Whitaker. but um, yeah you know nothing really major there pretty standard victory which took us into the next round of the uh, the FA Cup and that took us nicely into another tricky game because this was, these were the games we had um, Liverpool and then we had Tottenham you know what I mean, in the, in the Premier League, this is where it really could have got derailed, you know. This is the make or break People side were like, yeah, if we can get six points, min, four points will be, you know, okay, that'll be decent as well. A win, three points will be will, will be probably the minimum that you want to expect. Two points for two draws, you know, not great. And then obviously, you could, you could have lost them both, you know, a good size. But again, bro, a 3-0 victory against Tottenham Hotspur. This was the uh, this was the dodgy Rodri penalty. This wasn't was it? the dodgy Rodri <laughs> penalty. I was going through that terrible uh, penalty situation. It got to that point, bro, didn't it? Where we was just like, I don't care how bad the penalty is, just get it on target. Yeah. And it kind of it kind of was that like, it wasn't the best pen, but he got it on target and scored. Yeah, exactly. Trash pen. It was funny actually in the interview afterwards, where the interviewed Pep and he was saying about. And Pep was like, nah, Rodri wasn't going to take the pen. That mm. is not a thing. But Rodri obviously stepped up, took it. Terrible pen, but scored it. And that's that's what started it off. And then we ended up winning that 3-0, which is... That's massive. Gundogan that's two goals massive. again in that game, by the way. Yeah. He got two against Liverpool. He got two against uh, Tottenham. And we Big made game Tottenham player. look shit, bro. We did. We, it was... It, I feel like that was our season coming full circle because we, obviously that's the last time we lost was against Tottenham. Mm. And since then, we've been on this mad journey of, do you know what I mean... 
ups and downs and stuff like that, how we're playing and stuff. And uh, the, the, the winning runners now, do you know what I mean, come about. And then we got to that game and it was like, if this, then if they beat us again, it'd be like, oh no. Yeah. Same again. But uh, we actually beat them and then it was like, we're here now. This is, this is a, basically Tottenham played City twice in a season, right? But they didn't play the same team. We're mm. a completely different team in, in both them games. Yeah, no, absolutely, absolutely. And uh, yeah, easy win there, scoring three. And then we scored three in the next one, Everton away. Um, you know, Phil Foden gets us started and then some dodgy defending from the Blues um, allow Richarlison. I remember Lucas Dini had the ball on the left oh, side, yeah. shot, hit the post and then he just hit Richarlison and went in to equalise. However, then, do you remember that spectacular finish from Riyad Mahrez oh, in the mate. 63rd minute? Can't forget. Beautiful goal. And then a pretty similar shot from Bernardo. Not quite as good. The keeper probably should have saved it but another nice you know play and that was at that at that point we was like well you know we're we're dusting these teams four against Liverpool three against Swansea three against Tottenham three against Everton I'm like geez like, what is going on here you know what I mean and what is this team <laughs> not not easy teams and we're making like work of it you know a really good performance at Goodison Park great goal from Riyad Mahrez and um yeah and then it don't get any easier bro well I mean kind of does uh, you know Arsenal are a bit of a weird team in it but you know playing Arsenal at the Emirates Bray and um yeah, what happened in that one? Well, obviously we had the the, the goal in the first like minute or so in it. Oh then, yeah, the and that was it. Head. And, then, and then that was it for the rest of the game. It was probably oh, yeah, out of watch on wise, probably the most boring game we've watched I all do season. Remember. That was the second half was so dreadfully <laughs> it boring. It was terrible. But it was that it was that situation, bro, where I think we got we went one 0 ahead and I think the team just went, you know what, these are not gonna lay a glove on us. Let's just keep the ball for ninety minutes, have a little bit of a, of a, of a rest. It was a pretty much a resting game. It looked like very mm. training ground kind of stuff. We weren't like the efforts weren't there do you know what I mean we weren't trying really at the hardest to create anything it was mm. more just like yeah we'll cruise through this and we did and we it was more like protecting ourselves yeah and obviously th there's a massive reason for that it just led us to the the Munch and Gladbach game and uh, obviously this mm. one had massive pressure on it and I was I was well nervous for this one yeah <laughs> I was excited for this game though as well but I, I, I was like yeah I was nervous but I was excited I was like yeah. yes Champions League Champions League back we're dusting these Premier League teams they ain't got nothing on us and I've got to say I was quite disappointed with Munch and Gladbach. Now, I kind of expected a little bit of... Because, obviously, their manager's leaving at the end of the season, so you can't be fully committed, but they were very, very poor. Um, Zakaria played. I've got to say, I see some people in the comments thought he played all right. I thought he was trash. Um, they created two opportunities. Neither of them actually ended up in a, in a, in a shot. Um, I remember the ball on the right-hand side, crossed it, and Walker got back really, really well. And then in the second half, I think Zakaria, all he had to do is play a five-yard pass to the striker who was still on goal, and he oh, completely over it. Yeah. yeah. Um, and again, just made light work. A bit similar to the Arsenal one. Got two goals and then just sort of chilled. You know what I mean? Didn't really go for the, for anything else. And to be honest, that should see us through. You know what I mean? If we score one goal in the home leg, they got to score three. So it know, it's, it's I mean, unlikely that we're going to get knocked out from this had, point of view. Had they scored that chance right at the end, Joe Edison made the save. Had they yeah. scored that, it maybe could have changed things. Yeah, I agree with that. Uh, but end of the day, I, I feel like they're, they're out well, of the Well, to be goals, fair, they be. still would have had to score two goals. So, yeah, so in theory, it doesn't actually change yeah, things. They still I, have I, to I score remember too. saying, bro, at the end of that live stream, we should go for a third because if them if they score, it doesn't really change anything. Yeah. Two one, they still have to score two goals. Two mm -hmm. nil, they still have to score two goals. So if we would have got a third, then that would have been completely done. Um, but yeah, it was a good save, nonetheless. So it was still a mint save, medicine. And as well, it was that thing, bro, where he had nothing really to do all game. Nothing to do all game, but and that's the hardest toes, part. It? Yeah. Concentration, standing there for ninety minutes, and then you expect it to make a top class save, and he did it well. Yeah, and then. It. I don't know if this is controversial, bro. I don't think it is, actually. Um, but West Ham, 2-1 win. I think that was the hardest game. I think, honestly, looking back, obviously, at the beginning, you're like, that's not going to be the hardest game. But I actually think that was the game where we looked like we might not win that game. Yeah, they, and I think the score has proved that we, we struggled. Yeah, we did, we, did, we did struggle in that game. You know what I mean? We were both, both defenders scoring. Um, and like you say, looking at the month as a whole, like b beforehand, that definitely wasn't uh, the case of that would be the hardest game. But West Ham are in good form. They were fourth, I mean, at the time, and uh, I mean, they were playing good football. And I think I, I just I think everyone was kind of looking at this game, going, "This is where it could fall. This is where the win run could end, and mm. this is where we could potentially slip up." Because after Liverpool, I, I, I just look at teams thinking, you know what I mean? That confidence that it gave us after Liverpool game was, "We can go and beat anyone now. Yeah. We just beat Liverpool four one at Anfield." So then, like going into every single game, I was like, "Yeah, we can do this. We can do this." And West Ham, after a bit, you just kind of like. 
I mean, is it is it is it? Are we how how long is this going to continue for? No, I mean, how long can I this agree. go on for? Um, it's madness, isn't it? But then we actually, do you know what I mean, our defender saved us in that game. It wasn't the best of games, yeah. as well, and they could have nicked one at the end. Diop yeah. should have scored right at the so end with the header. Close. He should have done better, and uh, we got a, you know a lot of. But I feel like when you play in mint, you get luck. You get lucky because that's just ha- that happens. You know what I mean? I think I, I do believe that's how football works, and that ends obviously. And on the day, the twenty eighth of uh, February, which is today, obviously two great results for us: Leicester losing. United dropping points so it's topped off a fantastic February Just 12 to, points clear yeah 12 points clear it's like this as it stands February played 8 won 8 obviously drew none, uh, lost none scored 20 conceded just 4 um, you know that's absolutely incredible numbers incredible numbers considering the teams that we've been against to only concede 4 goals in the whole month and you've played Tottenham, Arsenal, and Liverpool in the, and Everton away in that month. Yeah, that's incredible to only concede four goals. No, absolutely, it's an absolute mega month, guys. What do you make of that? I can't believe it. To be honest, I really can't. It's it's in just I can't believe we've gone through all them games: Liverpool, Tottenham, Everton, Arsenal, Munch and Gladbach, West Ham. With their form, they were the second best form team in the league, and we won them all. It's incredible. Let it's, us know your thoughts my, in the comment section my. below. Can I, I, before we go, bro, yeah. I need to ask you a question. Innit? Ask me the question. It was, the preview was make or break. Mm. Have we made it? We didn't break, so have I we think, made I think, it? I think, yeah, I think we're going to win the league. Um, for me, I reckon we win the next two games. I reckon it's done. I reckon we beat Wolves, we beat United. I reckon that's done. Completely done. In, I reckon. In that, fairness, I the preview we included that week of March. Yeah, we did. Because we, did. we needed that. We did actually United say that, game to be in it. So I'm memory, bro. I know. Remembering them early on, that's weird. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, that could be it. In mm. a week's time, the title could be ours. Yeah, but guys, let us know in the comment section below. You know, what do you make of this month? Who do you put it down to? Is it all Peps? Is it the players? Is there anyone in particular that stood out? Obviously, Gundogan with a mega month. Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. And we'll have our Wolves preview coming up for you very, very shortly. So make sure you subscribe. Hit the notification bell for that so you don't miss it. Uh, make sure you smash a like on the video if you did enjoy it. Subscribe to the Extra Club. Hit the link in the description. And we'll see you in the next one. <laughs>